My name is Chris Perry. I'm an electrician and instrumentation tech by trade. I've been an electrician for years now and, you know, seen a lot of videos on what could happen on arc flash and uh, even electrocutions and, of course, not thinking it's going to be me. And having this happen firsthand, I can't say enough to anybody that's in the trade, been in the trade for years uh, or starting out. I think that should really just step back, think of what could happen. Uh, the day before the incident um, was just a normal daily shutdown that we have. We had a service tech in for the two breakers that needed repairing. The service tech that was there seemed pretty knowledgeable on, on what he was doing and I had a good feeling that uh, we were going to be able to make one breaker work out of the two. Yeah, uh, the day of the incident, everybody discussed what their jobs were going to be that day. And my first job was to install the breaker. Got my tools and my cart ready and got the breaker and I headed to the sub. So when I first uh, entered the sub, I made sure I had all the stuff I needed to do the job. The, the PPE that I had on, um, of course the gloves uh, were uh, rubber insulated with a leather cover voltage, high voltage gloves. I had my art flash gear. I uh, then proceeded to uh, get the breaker uh, onto the, um, it's a lift. Uh, once on the lift, I inspected the breaker, just a visual inspection, make sure there's nothing out of the ordinary. Um, I then proceeded to put my art flash gear on. I uh, then went over to the breaker and installed it into the, uh, the cubicle um, and then once locked in you can roll it in so I rolled the breaker into position and it, it locks into the spot ready to rack in. And this is where I needed to now uh, look into the, the back of the breaker to see, uh, make sure everything looked like it was going to line up right. But of course because you had the door, door open and, uh, to see the connections in the back. Um, you kind of got to look inside. So I was looking inside, probably about 24 inches from the bus. And uh, as I was cranking it, looking in, and I was just poof. Once I was thrown on the ground or fell, I, I then ran away from the arc flash and then ran into a cabinet, another MCC section, which hurt. And um, I then removed my mask, uh, thinking I was far enough away. Um, I noticed my hands and the skin hanging off of my hands. And uh, then I turned around to see where I was. I could see the, the uh, cubicle on fire, flames billowing out. And, particles on the floor on fire. Weird. When I first, the accident happened and I seen my hands, I was scared, but thankful that it wasn't worse. Um, but I think I was in shock for sure because I was told I was white as a ghost and, and uh, it's hard to remember some stuff. My face mask, uh, the hood, uh, the face mask was pitted, uh, melted bubbled up a little bit and had little pieces of metal embedded uh, that I guess would have shot out of the, the flash. The jacket uh, had some burn marks and the cuffs were melted a little bit. Uh, so this is the arc flash hood that I was wearing on the incident. Um, most of the arc flash blast was pointed towards this left side of the mask as I was facing in on an angle. Most of the damage is on this, just a little bit of carbon exposure on, on here, um, and some melting and some pitting and uh, metal pieces in the, in the face shield. If I would have had the flashlights we have now on our helmets, I, I would have just used that. In fact, I've, I've already been using the new helmet with the flashlight, and I, I do like it. It's uh, very helpful. Yeah, when I went in, 
that day I figured I was, I, I knew what I was going to be doing and, and uh, didn't think that it was going to end the way it did, but it, it uh, ended the way I didn't want it to end. Had I been wearing those gloves, I would uh, definitely not have the burns I have. The gloves go up past the, the, um, the cuffs on the jacket and they're long enough that I probably wouldn't have had any burns. My suggestion would be for uh, anybody working with this type of, in this type of uh, industry that they should take all measures to wear the appropriate equipment. Don't leave your gloves off. Um, protect yourself. Take all precautions.